afternoon everybody um, I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos lately but the um, last one I did I think was something about the perils of chicken keeping one of the last ones I did and in that video I talked about uh, my Easter egg or hen Moretta having um, a couple of very strange large race growths under her wing that were scabbed over and all that and then in that video i also mentioned my black americana gypsy who was 11 almost 11 and a half and she was um she was uh going into the nest box and acting lethargic and she'd sit for a while well um the other day gypsy passed away it became her her crop quit working that's an outer symptom of system failure it doesn't mean our crop is malfunctioning per se, that that's not the source of the problem. The problem is internal. And she was not ill. She was just old. It was her time. Well, Gypsy passed away. We've been treating Moretta's uh, strange places under her wing. Two huge raised up, it's like two plateaus under there. They were scabbed up. Uh, they smelled bad. We gave her antibiotics for over a week. We uh, sprayed them down. We put uh, sil silvadine cream on them. We did a lot of stuff. And I was uh, consulting with a veterinarian that I know who owns chickens and knows quite a bit about chickens. And um, she even said, well, the, at the very beginning, the first picture I sent her, she said, well, they look like... Um, abscesses more than anything because I said but did these feather follicles that went crazy or what in the heck is going on and she said they could be abscesses but they could also be necrotic tumors well she said if they're necrotic tumors or something like that they won't respond to treatment well we treated and the smell went away finally her scab got ripped off of one of them I don't know how it happened she was out doing something and um Anyway, she bled all over the place, and we had to rebandage her, and you know, had a little setback here and there. Well, finally, they quit smelling bad, so the infection seemed to be gone. They were scabbing over, but they wouldn't heal. They still are not healed. And um, I sent another picture to the vet, and she said, you know, it could be dermal cancer. Um, she said I would worm them, you know, in case it's like a, a larva or some kind of a, a, a parasite thing in there or something some odd thing um and i warmed them well a couple days later uh this morning you know last night i noticed that moretta was sleeping near the head hen on day we have a big portable nest box that we built out of wood and it's fairly tall and moretta i mean in june the head hen she sleeps up there in a coat crate like a queen on the throne every night she's the only and she only allows well, normally the, the lowest in the flock sleeps with her or, or near her. Nobody else has ever slept up there. Well, last night, Moretta was sleeping up there. Moretta never sleeps near June. So, um, I said, this is unusual. Why is she sleeping near June? She never sleeps up there, ever. And everybody was in a weird place last night. Nobody was where they're supposed to be. Well, this morning, um, there, they get their normal little 13-grain uh, scratch in the morning, a little bit, and Moretta didn't die for her scratch. She's very lethargic and sleepy this morning. Um, my gut feeling says it is some sort of cancer that has manifested itself outside of her body. It's come out of the body so we could see it. So, in a way, it's... Yes, we've been treating it as if it's a wound or something else, um, just in case it is because without a biopsy as my vet says she said there's not any way to really know what it is and Moretta is eight years old so she's not a young hen I'm not gonna put her through a surgery or anything like that um, but I believe it's some sort of a cancer so uh, we will be digging a new hole and I think I'm gonna lose Miss Moretta <sighs> the point of all of this is I'm gonna tell you I don't care how long you've had chickens I don't care if you've had them 50 years or 15 years. You don't you don't know everything, and you will never know everything, because there are textbook things that happen to chickens. But apparently, my chickens didn't read the textbook. None of them did. I've had so many strange non-textbook things happen with chickens, um, and. You just, there are things you just don't know. I mean, it's insane what crazy things can happen. If you go onto a forum and you, you know, backyardchickens.com, I pretty much quit going to the emergency section because of the 
helpful people that didn't know diddly squat. I mean, I'm pretty well versed in what happens to chickens. I know enough to know I don't know everything. <laughs> Uh, even though I've seen a lot of stuff like dwarfism, nobody's ever seen. You know, it's very rare to see that. Thyroid genus dwarfism. I, and I know so much about it because I've had experience. Well, there's so many so-called helpful people that want, want, they want to offer help, but they don't know enough to offer help. And so they've read one article on something, and so you pr say, my chicken has this, and what is wrong with her? And they say, oh, I know what that is. They don't know what that is. Um, case in point, Merrick's disease. Somebody comes in there and says, I have a five-year-old hen who suddenly can't walk well, or she's squat walking. I had a hen do that once, where she couldn't really stand up all the way, and she was like squat walking. That's what I call it. Um, and they'll say, well, it could be Merrick's disease. Not good. First of all, Merrick's disease is the disease of younger birds, not birds who've made it to five and six years old. And second, she wouldn't be walking at all, probably. Not like, certainly not like that. Um, in the end, my hen, it turned out that she was bloated. She had a little bit of, she had uh, reproductive cancer, and she had uh, fluid and growths and things pressing on nerves, what my conclusion was, um, that caused that. And she died not so long after that. And that's how I know she had reproductive cancer. But I'm telling you, just because there are some textbook things that happen to chickens, um, there are a lot more non-textbook things that happen. And you don't know as much as you think you do. <laughs> Trust me, you don't. There are all kinds of things that can happen that are not in the textbook. And uh, this thing with Moretta, those places, they scabbed over again, but they're just scabbed. They're not going down, and now she's looking like she doesn't feel well. Um, and I think my gut says this is a cancer of some sort. It's just manifested itself outside her body. So now if she drops dead, it's not going to be a surprise. We know something's going on. She's eight years old, and she's, a very she's been laying, actually, till very recently. She was actually laying during this. And so uh, never... I always take people's advice with a grain of salt because a lot of people offer advice and they act, they will say it like they know what they're talking about and they just don't. Um, people consider me in certain areas to be almost an expert on some things as far as chickens go. But I will tell you right now, I don't think anybody's an expert on poultry. Um, and uh, if, they, if they say they are, they're probably not. I mean, I don't have a PhD in poultry science, but uh, experience is how most of us learn with this. And my experiences have, have been that there's more things that happen that are not textbook than are. Um, at the end of this video, I will put up pictures, graphic pictures, of the wounds on Moretta's side. Now, I'm not calling them wounds, tumors, whatever they are, those places. I'll put up a picture at the beginning. I'll put up a picture that I just took. And over a whole month, you can see that they, they are not appreciably different. They, don't, they no longer smell bad. So if there was an infection, we got rid of that. But they're still there. And I think it's we're going to lose her. But if you don't want to see graphic pictures, don't watch until the end. Okay? So that's all I had to say today, and um, enjoy your spring day. I mean, this is just part of chicken keeping. This is just the reality of it. And either you, you, you know, put yourself in a position to see this stuff, or you just don't have chickens. And I, I dare say that a lot of people who only have hatchery birds that only live to three and four years old, four or five years old tops, uh, a lot of them, you're not going to see a lot of stuff that I've seen. Uh, Gypsy was going on 12. Moretta is 8. I have a lot of 9-year-olds. I have a whole group of 9-year-olds. I have a 10-year-old and I have a whole group of 11-year-olds. My 12-year-old hen is the oldest hen I have. She hasn't been able to walk for like 3 years. Not really. She's lost the use of one leg and now she's losing the use of her other leg. She laid 2 eggs over the last week. I mean, she's healthy. She's just crippled. So, um, if you don't have elderly birds, you're not going to see a lot of the stuff that I've seen. And a lot of the stuff I've seen, a lot of it is old age stuff. That it just probably is not going to happen a lot in younger birds. And hatchery birds don't tend to live until 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. 
<laughs> some do, some do, but not, not a lot. So, um, have a good spring day, and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.